Now I'm going to go over how to use Smart Lock on a Samsung device. Um, Smart Lock you can use on most Android phones and it's going to work virtually the same. Um, you just have to access it in the settings a little different depending on the phone. Um, so this is how you do it on a Samsung device. What Smart Lock does for you is a few things and the one I use it most for is when my Samsung device is connected to a Bluetooth device like Bluetooth headphones, uh, my car Bluetooth, or a Bluetooth, you know, smartwatch. Basically what it does is if the phone realizes that it's connected to one of those Bluetooth devices that you've added, you can have it not have a passcode on your device. So you can just unlock your phone without having to put in your fingerprint or your passcode or whatever your screen lock stuff information is. And then when the phone is disconnected from that Bluetooth device, um, your phone will reappear with that lock screen passcode or pattern or fingerprint or whatever you have it set up as. So this is kind of convenient, um, especially if you have like a smartwatch that you wear with you all the time. Um, when the phone is connected to that Bluetooth, you won't have to, you know, constantly, you know, unlock your phone or anything. You can just open it without having to put in a passcode or anything. And then when the watch is disconnected from it, then it will have a passcode. So if someone does take your phone um, and run away with it, it will then disconnect from the watch and then there will be a passcode on it that they would have to enter in order to get into the phone. So to go ahead and activate this, you first wanna to go to your settings. And from settings, you wanna to go to lock screen. And from here, you want to go to Smart Lock. Then you have to put in your pattern or your passcode or whatever you have. And once you do that, you see you have your options here. You have on-body detection, and um, that will keep your device unlocked while it thinks it's on your body. Just unlock once and your device stays unlocked as long as it's in motion. So you can turn that on or off. It's off by default, but you can turn it on if you want to, but that's up to you. That's not the Bluetooth part I was talking about before. This is a different way of using smart lock if you want. Another option is trusted places. And if you select trusted places, you can go ahead and add a address here. Um, you can type it in if you want to so you can add your home address or your place of work if you want to and if the phone senses that you're in that area uh, it will keep the phone unlocked so you don't have to enter in a passcode or anything like that and once you leave that location um, it will put the passcode back on your phone so you can do that one if you want to but you don't have to um, and the last one is what I was talking about before is the trusted devices. These are the Bluetooth devices. So you can see this is actually my smartwatch up here. It's not connected currently, which means there would be a passcode on my phone, but I can add another trusted device and a list of previously paired Bluetooth devices will pop up here. So you do have to go through the Bluetooth pair pairing process with whatever device you want to use as a trusted device before it will show up in this list. So make sure you do that first. And then you can come here and it'll pop up in this list. So for me, I'm going to choose these headphones and I'll click yes, add. And now you can see those headphones are now added. So whenever those headphones are connected to this device via Bluetooth, um, there will not be um, a passcode or anything that I have to input into the phone in order to unlock it. Um, and again, you can do that with kind of any Bluetooth device, or you can use on body detection or trusted places, or you can use all of these. It's up to you, however you want to use it. Um, do just be aware of which one of these you turn on. Um, just in case something does happen to your phone, you just want to be aware of when it'll lock and when it won't. So that's how you can use Smart Lock on a Samsung device. Uh, hopefully this video helps. And if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.